on, Nathan Masters, and I have another minifigure pack to look at today. This minifigure pack is the 60202, uh, what's it called here? People Pack, People Pack Outdoor Adventure. Um, another selection, I think we've got another 14, 15 minifigures in here. Uh, a bunch of outdoorsy type stuff, some, some nice uh, double-sided face prints, and there's a lot of supporting builds in this one as well, including a very nice tent. So let's take a look. So in bag one, and with booklet number one, we start to assemble um, some of our adventurers. And we start off with this very nice um, bald eagle, which has got some dual molded um, plastic injection going on here. The brown and the white, and then that yellow beak is actually printed onto the white. So. This is a really beautiful Lego piece. Um, I believe it's also new for this set. Possibly used in one or two other ones, but um, it can hold or perch a fish. It can hold the fish if you stick it in head first and it can perch on a one by one stud. Um, so this is a beautiful eagle in flight. It's actually got a really nice wingspan, um, quite a bit larger than a minifigure, which is somewhat realistic. So that's very nice. Eagle and the fish there. Okay, what else do we have? We have a rock climber, um, possibly on his way to Mount Clutchmore, as we will see later. There's a signpost for such a monument. Um, but it's a nice little build with some of these uh, handholds built out of the bar attached to a one by one brick, and we get some rock slopes we, we can use. And our hiker himself has, um, I believe this is from the jungle, where it's just a, a pair of pants with some printed buckles and straps on there and then the torso is a nice athletic print on like a, a tank top with some mountain logos on there uh, and then a, a nice white climbing helmet for our mountain climber. Uh, we have a very nice hiker right here with a uh, pretty interesting print on the torso. It's like a green jacket and then there's some kind of wolf or raccoon head on like maybe a t-shirt underneath. Um, but he's got this spiky hairdo, which is pretty stylish, and uh, no reverse head on that one. But a lot of them do have the reverse head. One thing I noticed as I was putting this together is we get a lot of duplicate pieces from the space pack in terms of like a hair piece or a face print. So it's really nice to get these face prints that have both sides um, or, or one side with a really good expression. Um, but I did notice that those get a lot of duplicates in the other minifigure packs. Um, and I'm not super upset about that. Now I have, I have two of those, but I'm thinking I probably should have looked a little closer before I went ahead and bought both packs. Now I just have a lot of duplicates. That's okay, because this pack includes a lot of exclusive pieces, like this guy with the baby pack on the front. And this, uh, this baby is wearing a onesie in a, uh, it's interesting color. It's like an aqua, a really light, light bluish green color. But if you guys haven't had a chance to look at a Lego baby, they're pretty cute. I don't know. It's like it's a one by one on the base. It's kind of chunky if you look at it from the side. The arms don't move, um, but you can turn the head around, and it's got these really big, lovable eyes. And so the, the baby pack included here, you can just pop them right down in front, uh, which is the advised position. It also works if you put it on the back like a backpack, but then... You can't really see what's going on with your kids, so I don't know if that's a if that's a good idea to walk around like that. Um, there might be a Lego law against that too, so be careful if you are going out hiking in such a fashion. All right, let's move on to the dirt bike. Um, this isn't a new Lego piece for this year, maybe for 2018, but I really like it. It's the first one I've gotten, and the wheels attach a little differently than the regular bike, and the handlebars are kind of a different configuration. So the minifigure actually sits a lot farther forward and is kind of leaning um, almost as if they're in a jump, which you can actually do in this set because it includes uh, a little brick-built stunt ramp over a log. So that's a little, that's a fun little side build, and it's got one of these really nice leaf pieces in there. So if you can get a lot of those, you can make some pretty cool trees. I've seen some pictures of people developing some techniques for that. Um, but other than that, our biker has... Uh, somewhat new helmet piece. It's a couple years old now, but it's a really nice mold for a dirt biker. And then a, a finely printed uh, racing suit as well. And some 
dirt smears on the head. Any respectable motocross racer is going to get a little dirty. So yeah, that's a good inclusion. I call this guy the Boy Scout. I don't know if he is, but uh, he just definitely is dressed for the part. Got his backpack there in a very nicely tucked in um, jacket with some pockets. Looks like he's prepared. And he is cooking breakfast on this little camp stove. Um, this Lego egg is indeed a print. And it's a very nice looking print. It's just a one by one round tile with that yolk printed right on there. And it's simmering on this fry pan right now. So that's going to be a nice breakfast for somebody. Alright, I think I got everybody from bag one. And here's the group from bag two, except for the photographer. Uh, I forgot her. She has a really high-end looking Lego camera, and uh, it's got some brick-built parts, components built onto a regular camera piece. But uh, what we get is a really, you know, looks like a, a higher quality. You can get some really good zoom with this thing. And um, my other favorite piece here is going to be this torso print. It's like a uh, khaki jacket on a, a blue button down. And so that print continues into detail on the back. And she has this ponytail piece that allows for her to wear this saddlebag or um, like a purse. Um, not quite a backpack. There's not that much room back there. But it, it does stick out from the back enough so that you can put on some accessories. So that's really nice to get that. Okay, now on to bag two. We have uh, quite the crew here. One thing I noticed is different from the space pack is um, kind of the family style that we get with this minifigure pack. So uh, it's not really stated in the instructions or anything, but um, we do have a very, um, we have a nice picture on the front of the box that shows this group kind of together. Um, like on a family vacation. And I think that's a pretty cool idea. You can work up some stories about some of these characters uh, with that in mind. So, you know, we've got uh, your classic family here, a couple of kids. Um, they look like they're having a lot of fun, and that's really cool. Um, younger younger girl, and then the dad with his selfie cam. It is indeed a cell phone print. Um, it doesn't have anything that looks like a front-facing a front camera would be taking a picture of them, but uh, I do like these cell phone pieces, so it's always good to get some more of them. He's got his uh, vacation shirt on, and like I said earlier, uh, this face print is a duplicate from the um, the new space minifigure pack. So, if you're just looking to get a couple good uh, double-sided faces and some good hair components, maybe look at just getting one minifigure pack with most of the ones you want, and you will save a little money that way. Uh, I don't mind having the duplicates myself, so it's okay. Uh, here's the the mother with a water bottle. And then this hair piece is really nice to get in brown. I've got some in some other colors, but it's a pretty interesting hair piece, and I really like the detail there. Some pockets on the pants, and uh, yeah, ready for a hike. So they're, uh, they're off on their adventure. Oh yeah, a quick wanted to mention, um, the dual molded pants on her have a really fascinating design. So it's this yellow stripe in the middle that I'm looking at and that's actually a yellow plastic bordered by uh, the blue plastic there and the uh, underside of the feet are completely filled in. I haven't seen this piece before. Um, it does have some sprue marks on the side where that yellow is where you inject a different color. Um, but other than that I think it's the same um, height dimensions as just a regular mini leg group. They aren't the, the midi legs that pivot. Um, so, you know, we've, get, we've got the normal legs, the really small ones, and then there's now an in-between one that we saw in those Harry Potter minifigures. Those are really nice to have. But uh, I can't complain about this one. It is a really cool piece. Um, again, that dual-molded stripe in the middle. Haven't seen that before on a Lego piece. So that's pretty cool. Okay, what else do we have here? We've got the Lego City Road sign. Um... Mount Clutchmore off in one direction, Lego City on the other. So, yeah, you know, maybe that guy was at the foothills of Mount Clutchmore over there. A nice play on words uh, with Mount Rushmore here in the U.S. So that's uh, one of those Lego Easter eggs that they throw in there. Fun to find those. Um, some of the mini builds here we get are the little lantern and this tent. And this tent is uh, kind of a vinyl plastic, um, not really a cloth, I know that I have a an old Indiana Jones set with another tent, and that was kind of a, a cloth punch out, and this one is is more plastic, but uh, it looks pretty sturdy. It's holding up pretty well, 
and it's just assembled on an 8x8 base with these uh, round knobs holding that into place there. A couple of beds on there. And the way that this was assembled, uh, you're able to um, hold these flaps in place with some friction, and they're pretty easy to open up if you want to open it up there. And we get some, some clear netting, which is really nice touch as well. So pretty happy with that tent. Um, the other big chunk from this bag is the life raft, or the, the rapid raft. And the um, people here rafting. A couple, couple people on the raft with their oars and their life jackets. And those shirts underneath are printed torsos as well. Um, I do really like this printed face here. It reminded me of a character... I've seen on a TV show, the Red Green Show. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of that, but that's the first thing I thought of when I saw this. Maybe no one else will. That's fine. It was it was kind of funny. I I saw that. Anyways, uh, the other two people we have are uh, an older lady with the hammer to pound the tent spikes in, and uh, maybe like a granddaughter or the sister from the Boy Scout. Who knows? You can arrange people however you want into different family units. That's the cool thing about. Leaving things so unstructured in these sets is, it, it's really up to you as the builder how it's going to go together. Um, but yeah, pretty happy to get this jacket print, and um, that teal, pink, and purple go really nice together there. And then this hair piece is pretty interesting. I don't know what to think of it yet. I haven't, don't have any specific characters I want to put this on, but we'll see what happens. I, I don't know. Now I have it. Now I can use it. And, uh... Yep, part of the collection. So that's it. Um, two bags, two booklets, and 14 minifigures. Great minifigures. It's a great minifigure pack. This was at Walmart for 32. Seems like to me the uh, the minifigure packs at Walmart aren't around long enough to drop to clearance. So that's why I went ahead and picked this one up. Um, but if you find these on sale, uh, I would say even if you're not a minifig collect collector, you should buy it. Because you could probably resell these down the road um, close to double double value um, if they get popular. Especially if it's still sealed in the box, these will most likely appreciate in value. So if you see these on sale, pick them up, hold on to those. And um, if it's not your, not your thing, I would say just get them to resell and make a profit. Because um, people will pay a lot for these. It's a minifigure heavy pack, and that's what a lot of people are after these days. So check that out. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see what LEGO does next. We've got the fair pack out right now with another great round of figures, and I'm sure there's a lot more on the way. All right, thanks, guys. See ya.